Hey, it's Bob Nagan, and welcome to another episode of Real Retail TV. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you a great technique I recently learned for dealing with annoying people. Recently, we had Ken Barr Jr., who is a Gallup Certified Strengths Coach, come into the office and spend a half day with us talking about our particular strengths, how we can work better together, and just generally, it was just a great exercise in team building. But Ken shared a technique with us that I immediately got excited about. I wrote it down in my journal. Aubrey looked at me and right away said, you're going to make this into a real retail TV, aren't you? And I said, yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So you're in retail. Annoying people is part of your life. You become annoyed by your team members. It's natural, you can't avoid it. You become annoyed with customers. It's natural, you can't, you can't avoid it. You become annoyed with your uh, vendors. It's natural, you can't avoid it. But what you can do is react to it appropriately. And what Ken shared with us, and now I'm sharing with you, is a technique called the Q-tip technique. And you know when you get a Q-tip, what do you do? You roll it between your fingers, right? It's just one of those things. You roll it between your fingers between your clip before you clean your, your ears, but you roll it between your fingers. And Q-tip stands for quit taking it personally. So if you have a, 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 an unreasonable customer, the tendency is to take it personally, isn't it? How can they do that to me? But whenever you catch yourself becoming annoyed, just take your fingers, put it behind your back, and just roll your fingers. Q-tip. Quit taking it personally. If your team, if you have somebody who's perpetually late, quit taking it personally. With a team member, you need to deal with it appropriately, but quit taking it personally. If a vendor doesn't ship on t a time to you, you know, yes, it's annoying. You need to deal with it but quit taking it personally. They're not doing it to you, they're doing it and you're becoming annoyed with it. So I just absolutely love the Q-tip technique. So put that in your bag of tricks. If you haven't watched the uh, Real Retail uh, episode about BAM, I would encourage you to do that too, but you know, we live in a world and a life where there are lots of little things that can annoy us or set us off. Part of our challenge, part of our opportunity, part of growing as a leader and a manager is understanding how to deal with these annoyances to make sure that you react appropriately to them so that they don't waste too much of your mental energy. Learning how to navigate all the things that happen with you as an owner or a manager of a retail store is part of your growth, isn't it? You know, you run into problems and you figure out how to solve them. You figure out how to go over them or around them. And one of the ways that you do that is through self-education. Learning how to develop your own personal business skills how to manage your time, how to manage your emotions, how to lead your team. And if you want to manage yourself and your business better, I would encourage you to look at the Retail Mastery System. There is an entire module called Personal Business Skills. You will learn time management for retailers. You will learn how to stay focused. You will learn lots of the tips and tricks that are like the Q-tip technique.